Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on how to find the equation of a parabola. Hopefully you would have done all the other quadratic equation tutorials before moving on to this because it is uh, slightly more complicated. So basically we have the graph provided to us. So let's say this is the uh, Cartesian plane. We have a parabola like, like so. And this time all we're going to give you is the turning point and one other point. So let's say the turning point of this parabola occurs at 3 and negative 2. So the x-axis is 3 and the y-axis is negative 2. And also it crosses the y-axis at let's say 4. I know it's probably not drawn properly um, but just ignore the bad drawing for a minute. Um, so basically we want to find the graph of the sorry the equation of this parabola so how can we do that um, previously we needed the x and y inter x intercepts but now we don't have that but what we do have is the turning point and if you remember the turning point form of a quadratic equation The turning point form is y equals a bracket x minus b squared plus c where b and c uh, make up the coordinate of the turning point is the turning point. So, using that knowledge, we can now substitute in the turning point that we have into the equation. So, y equals a bracket x minus 3 squared plus uh, negative 2. And now you can see that the only number left that we need to find is A. So we can find A pretty easily using the uh, the Y point here. So you can see this Y intercept that is provided to you has a coordinate of 0, 4. So if we substitute the 0 into where x is and the y of 4 into this equation then we can find out what a is. So let's do that. 4 equals a bracket 0 minus 3 squared uh, minus 2. So we have 4 equals a bracket negative 3 squared minus 2. So we have 4 equals uh, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9a minus 2. Rearranging the equation we have um, 9a equals 4 plus 2 which is 6 6 equals 9a so a equals 6 divided by 9 which is uh, 2 over 3 so therefore the equation of this parabola is y equals 2 over 3 bracket x minus 3 squared minus 2 and let's test that 
using Graphmatica and see if it gives us the equation we want. So y equals 2 over 3 uh, times x minus 3 squared minus 2. And if I zoom out a little bit, so it does give us a quadratic equation where the intercepts, sorry, the turning point is uh, x equals 3 and y equals 2, negative 2. And the y-intercept is at uh, y equals 4. So it has worked perfectly. Okay, so now I'm going to give you another question and you can try to do it yourself first before uh, before coming back to the screen. So let's draw a, another parabola and uh, so let's say I'm going to give you a turning point of uh, let's say 5 uh, 5 and negative 3 and let's say the y axis cuts at um, 5 actually 6 just to make it more interesting okay come back when you're ready okay so now I write down the turning point form of the quadratic equation and I know that since B and C represent the turning point I'm gonna substitute number 5 where B is and the number negative 3 into where C is so it becomes x minus 5 squared minus 3 and now I'm gonna try to solve this equation to find out what A is so y equals uh, sorry so this point here has x value of 0 and y value of 6 so substituting these into our formula where 0 is x and 6 is y so 6 equals a bracket 0 minus 5 squared minus 3 so that's 6 equals a times negative 5 squared minus 3 6 equals a times minus 5 times minus 5 is 25 so 25a minus 3 moving the three, negative 3 to the other side so 6 plus 3 is 25a 9 is 25a divided by 25 on both sides I have a equals 9 over 25 so the equation should be y equals 9 over 25 bracket x minus 5 oh sorry yes x minus 5 squared minus 3 so let's try that in Graphmatica y equals bracket 9 over 25 bracket x minus 5 squared minus 3 and it has indeed given us a graph where it touches the y-axis at 6 and the graph turns at 5 and negative 3 so another successful attempt okay thanks for watching guys see you next time